Hey guys, what's up? It's Diamond. And hello, it is JJ, and today we are talking about Mocking Jay Part 1 and Dancing with the Stars. So Dancing with the Stars had just its first episode. It just came out. There's so many amazing stars like Beth Annie Moda here yes. on YouTube and Betsy Johnson. And everybody loves Betsy Johnson. You know, she's 72 years old. Oh, wow. That was my grandma. Wow. And she is still twerking it up, doing them cartwheels and stuff. So I'm like, applause to her, right? Yeah. Okay, but she had a wardrobe malfunction. Now, we all have had our share of malfunctions in life, but she particularly had one on the first episode. She couldn't get her, what is it called, like a fluffy pink thing? Uh, a boa? A boa. boa. She couldn't get it off the rack and then put it on and then she tripped, but then she still lovely landed it in a nice cartwheel into the split. Wow. She's still I would be knitting at 72, not doing cartwheels and landing in the split. I know. But kudos to you. It is amazing. And then Bethany Moda danced to Taylor Swift's Shake It Off. Awesome. Shake it off. <laughs> and she did an amazing too. And a lot of people were saying, well, she's on YouTube. Like, she, she don't know how to dance. You know what I mean? I rep well, her though. I she could her. dance. Yeah. All right, guys. Something that is exciting going on in the world. Mockingjay Part 1. Finally, the trailer has arrived. I'm freaking out because all the Hunger Games movies I've been obsessed with, all the books. Oh, my God. So I'm so happy to finally get the first glimpse of what the movie actually looks like. And I'm very surprised by the darkness of it. It's about the war that has now happened in the capital and everything's going crazy and there's so many people on this team and that's, it's, it's a lot. It's very confusing, but it's gonna be insane. I'm super excited. Maze Runner is happening. I'm super excited. I've been waiting for this movie for a while. It came out, well, the book. I, I read the book when I was in like elementary school and you know, they're finally I've, making a movie. Yeah, I've been waiting for this movie forever and I'm so excited they casted Dylan O'Brien as the lead. I've seen him in Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf is my life. The new season, season finale just happened and it blew my mind. So I'm excited. It's gonna be a thriller. Yeah. They're gonna escape death by like this much. And I'm I know. I'm excited. Let Me us know too. if you guys are excited for this, or excited for the Hunger Games, or if you're excited for both. Yes. The comments what movies are, for are you, you excited to share? about? Let us know, and uh, we will freak out with you. All right, guys. So I'm sure you've all heard all about that base. Have you heard it? Because you know I'm all okay. about that. Base. It's amazing. It's nice insane. performance there. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Anyway, it's an amazing song. It, it just really shows everybody out there to like Love enhance yourself. their bass. And you know, just to dance out there. And it's a good song. It has a bit of an island beat to it, but it's still really fun. Yeah. And the video already has, in four weeks, 72 million views. So it's a really great music video. And I'm just really excited to see where Megan Trainer is gonna go because yeah, she just she's released an EP. straight out of Nashville. Yeah, just released an EP and all of her songs on the EP are insane. I yeah. love her very like swing style music. Yeah. I love it. But comment down below if you guys love that song or yes. what songs you guys love off of her new EP. Are you guys all about that bass? Let us know. Are you not? Last episode, Nathan Crest asked, what is your favorite coffee drink? Yes, from and Starbucks. Yep, and we asked you guys to put it in the comments below. And you did. And Luciana Chong said vanilla coffee. I didn't know that coffee could be vanilla because I'm not a coffee drinker, but apparently it is yeah. a thing and it's your favorite. And Little Ninja Chick said she loved a mocha frap, but she also loved a peppermint mocha during Christmas. So Those good for you. Happen. You got a nice selection. I tried it too. I spit it up, but that's okay. And this episode, G. Hanelius wants to know. Hey guys, it's G. Hanelius, and my favorite summer songs are Taylor Swift's Shake It Off and Mindy Gledhill's Pocket Full of Poetry. I wanna know what your favorite summer songs are. So you heard G, let us know your answers in the comments below. Yeah, and we'll pick some of our favorites to go on our next episode. Yes, just hashtag DWJJ. DWJJ. All right, guys, this has been real. It's been fun. I'm JJ. I'm Diamond. And have a nice day. day.